The flagship chip for Ryzen 3rd generation may have 16 cores and overclock all the way to 5 gigahertz. Welcome to Hardy's Hobbies. So, as you guys already know, Ryzen brought a lot of value to the CPU market by introducing high core count CPUs for really good prices. And Ryzen second generation only made it better by offering even higher core clocks and great stock CPU coolers. Currently, second generation Ryzen is definitely the best value CPUs on the market. But second generation Ryzen is what Intel would call a talk upgrade where all the hardware and technical things is pretty much identical to the previous generation and there is really just a core clock upgrade and that pretty much is what Ryzen 2nd generation is. Taking that into consideration, Ryzen 3rd generation is going to be a tick upgrade so there should be significant improvements to Ryzen 3rd generation. So should you wait for Ryzen 3rd generation and what should you expect? First, before we delve into all the leaks and rumors, let's discuss what we know for sure from AMD themselves. And really, there's only two things that we know from AMD themselves, but these are two crucial details. First of all, Ryzen 3rd generation should be on the 7 nanometer process, and there has been no word of any delays, so we should be seeing that. And number two, Ryzen 3rd generation should be supported by current generation and previous generation motherboards. AMD has promised four generations of AM4 support, and so far they have been delivering on this promise, so we should keep seeing this moving forward. Next. Let's look at some things that can be easily inferred on based on previous generational gaps. Last year, with first generation Ryzen, AMD did not offer stock CPU coolers with all their CPUs, but with second generation, they are offering great stock coolers with all of their CPUs and I think this was a great addition to a lot of buyers and so I'm pretty sure AMD will continue to do this. And as for price, AMD actually lowered the price of their CPUs from first generation to second generation by a pretty significant margin. We probably cannot expect such a drop again, especially because of the new 7 nanometer process. So the most likely pricing of Ryzen 3rd generation is going to be the same pricing as 2nd generation or it might go back up to what 1st generation costed. Either way, it is still a really good value, especially considering that Intel hasn't even launched their 10 nanometer series yet. So finally, here are the rumors surrounding the 3rd generation of Ryzen. There are only two, so it should be quick. First of all, the Ryzen 7 flagship CPU of 3rd generation Ryzen is expected to be able to overclock all the way to 5 GHz. And this does make sense, especially considering the 2700X already reaches 4.3 GHz, and this new 3700X, or whatever it will be called, will be able to take advantage of the 7 nanometer process as well. Even if it doesn't overclock all the way to 5 GHz, I think we can safely assume that it will at least reach 4.7 GHz, considering previous generational gaps. The second big rumor is that Ryzen 7 may have 12 or even 16 cores. Now this does have some legitimacy considering that AMD is pushing to 24 and 32 cores on their Threadripper series. So they may push 12 and 16 cores onto the mainstream platform. Also, with Intel bringing out an 8 core CPU this year, AMD has to fight that. And AMD is not well known for their clock speeds. So AMD may indeed add more cores in order to better combat that. So while that rumor may have some truth to it, I don't think AMD will offer so many cores on the mainstream platform because simply most people and most games don't even take advantage of it in the first place. Also, I doubt AMD wants to have a gap in their CPU lineup. Like for example, their Ryzen 5 chips have 6 cores and I doubt they would want their Ryzen 7 CPUs to go straight to 12 or 16 cores. So I do think a core count increase may happen but I do not think that it will go all the way to 12 or 16 cores. So here's what I think is a lot more likely. So with first generation Ryzen, AMD already learned that three identical Ryzen 7 CPUs is quite pointless. And as a result, with Ryzen second generation, they only launched two, the 2700 and the 2700X. So as a result, with third generation, I think they will do the same with the 3700 and 3700X, which will both be eight core 16 thread CPUs with the 3700 being able to overclock to 4.2 to 4.5 GHz and the 3700X being able to overclock to 4.7 to 5 GHz. And both of these chips will most likely come in at around $350 and maybe even less knowing AMD. 
and they will most likely be separated by a $30 price gap. So that will sufficiently cover the octa-core space for AMD and allow them to fight Intel core for core. And what we may see after that is the 3800X, which may have more cores. I don't think it'll have 12 or 16 cores because I do think that's a lot more than what people need in the mainstream platform. But what I do think is likely is maybe a 10 core CPU. This way, it's not way over the top while still providing a good upgrade over 3700X, unlike the, the 1800X, which was not really that much better than the 1700X. And the 3800X will most likely be able to overclock in the low 4 range and come in at $400 or maybe $500 like the 1800X. So that's pretty much what we can expect of third generation Ryzen. So should you guys wait for it? Well, most of you guys probably aren't looking at the 10 core CPU. And if you are, then you should also consider the i9-9900K from Intel because that will most likely have around the same performance as the 10-core chip and Intel is still a really good option in terms of performance. And as a result, the answer is really quite simple. If you are happy with what you have and you can wait for a couple of more months till the Ryzen 3rd generation comes out next March, then you should definitely wait for it if you can because it does provide a pretty good performance upgrade over Ryzen 2nd generation and you can be on the 7 nanometer process as well. However, if you really need an upgrade, then you should just go ahead and buy the second generation Ryzen chips because they are still really good value and deliver really good performance. Overall, third generation Ryzen upgrades will be pretty significant. However, the only game changer chip that may be available will be the high-end 3800X. So unless you're considering that chip, it doesn't really matter if you wait or just buy right now. It really comes down to personal preference. If you can wait a little bit longer and want the extra speed and be on the 7 nanometer process, then you should consider waiting for Ryzen 3rd generation. But if you really need an upgrade, just go with Ryzen 2nd generation because it is still really good. At the end of the day, it doesn't really matter and it is just what makes you happier. But that's just what I think. What do you guys think? Do you guys think it's worth it to wait for Ryzen 3rd generation or should you just buy 2nd generation Ryzen right now? Make sure to comment down below what you guys think because I do read all my comments and I'm curious as to what you guys think, so make sure to post your thoughts. Also, if you guys like this video, then make sure to drop a like and consider subscribing if you would like to see more videos just like this one. But until next time, bye.